climate change will have a severe and significant impacts over water, over the hydrological cycle, and then water is an essential component of every process in the environment uh, that supports biodiversity. So the changes in, t changes in temperature, changes in water will affect life in many different ways. All biological processes taking place in nature will be, uh, will be changed, and this will have an important impact over biodiversity, not just because changes in temperature, but because uh, the different processes that these changes in temperature and the water in the environment will trigger this, all, all the adaptive processes that will change, which uh, will end up in different habitats and different condition, conditions for the reproductive and all the uh, biological processes linked link to life and biodiversity. Uh, for sure, nature and biodiversity are one, as one of its components is adaptive, and, and all these adaptive processes will result in changes in biodiversity. Some species will have more possibilities uh, to adapt to different environments because this, uh, these ecosystems are modular, so will offer uh, op adaptive opportunities in the, uh, in the surrounding environment. So water will not have these opportunities. Some, we, some uh, species are more sensitive to changes in temperature and then the risk of extinction is higher, like, uh, like with frogs in Central America and snakes in the Amazon forest and so on. Uh, and some other will not have any adaptation possibility at all. Uh, for example, polar bears and species in the in the Arctic uh, zone that will for sure not have a similar environments uh, uh, to adapt. Uh, but besides that, besides these adaptive processes that will uh, unfold slowly and will result in different outcomes, uh, nature and biodiversity will also be shaped by disturbances. Disturbances, sudden uh, 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 things that will happen like floods, drought, uh, changes in uh, landslides and uh, heat waves uh, will uh, produce important changes that will probably uh, move many habitats and, speci and species to a shifting point, uh, then uh, to extinction in some cases and to a different environment where the uh, species we know will not uh, get a, a comfortable place. The conditions in the environment are changing, our responses must uh, change uh, uh, accordingly. The answer must be different in two uh, different aspects. That the transition to the new era must be managed by humans somehow. We must help species to migrate, we must help species to adapt. We must create new places where, uh, where new species will find a, a, a new place. And we must also manage the new adaptive processes in the old places where new species will appear. The idea of invasive species is, uh, is, a, is a traditional idea that, uh, that is now out of fashion. We need to recognize that more than, that many species in the future will not uh, will be invasive because they will uh, they, they will be opportunistic species that will take advantage of the opportunities given by ecological process. This is the first part of the answer. The, the second part of the answer is integrating biodiversity with uh, human activities uh, somehow. Uh, that is to say. For example, using soil conservation practices and green, uh, in agriculture and green infrastructures in cities. All these are opportunities to increase resilience and improve adaptation to climate change, uh, as well as to mitigate emissions, uh, carbon emissions, uh, at the same time that we use uh, uh, natural functions and ecosystems to control floods, to purify water, to support biodiversity, uh, to reduce temperatures, to uh, slow down runoff, and so on. So the, these alternatives that are based in environmental services and functions, both uh, in urban areas and rural areas, will provide a new vision of the world in which biodiversity will uh, live with us.
To conclude, climate change is very important. It's a horizontal area that affects everything. Every single policy area in our lives will be affected by climate change. Water, energy, land planning and land use, biodiversity, uh, poverty, equity. And we are used to deal with these different areas separately. We have different scientific communities with that different institutional seal or different policy areas to deal with, with little communication with, with each other. Uh, actually, we have been trying to solve one problem at the expense of the other. We have many uh, water-blind energy policies, biodiversity-blind water policies, and so on. And uh, a comprehensive response to, response to climate change will uh, uh, need uh, take advantage of the different synergies between these different policy areas and, and, and this imply uh, managing all these problems at the same time. Policy coordination, breaking up the institutional silos and enhancing cooperation between the different areas of society. This is clearly linked with the environment. It solves water problem, biodiversity problem, it helps us managing uh, energy issues and it supports biodiversity. So the comprehensive answer to all these problems will come with environmentally based approaches that are climate change sensitive and that will help solving the development problems for the long term in the future.